remember this mess? It's from a 2011, but very similar to the 2014 in Fast Leaf. It's time to jump into one of my favorite things, wiring. I've decided that I'm taking all of the VW wiring out, all of it, and replacing it with the Leaf equipment. So chassis harness, lights, obviously the motor management, BMS, all that stuff, but getting rid of, getting rid of everything, starting over. This thing going away. There's the dash harness. This goes through the grommet to the motor room. I got the left door, fuse panel, steering equipment, HVAC and audio visual, and then several modules. Looks like the tire pressure monitoring system potentially and a few other things. I know one of these is probably the pedestrian sound maker that I want to get rid of. Chassis harness. We'll start up here on the front left. We go from the um, engine room harness or the dash harness. And we go to the left front door, the left rear door and the capacitor assembly. And then we go back here to essentially the rear taillight connectors. And let's go back up. And then we have our battery connection there, among other things. Uh, seats, all the SRS stuff. This lead goes to the dash harness. And then we have the front right door. Rear right door stuff, kind of in this zone. And the Bose subwoofer, right tail light, and the license plate lights and intelligent key antennas. Here's the chassis harness pared down. Remember this connector from earlier? Well, when I was paring down the harness, I thought it was the left door connector and lopped it off. Turns out this is one of the most important connectors on the car. I can't believe I cut that connector off. I had to go one by one replacing, or, or in the wiring diagrams, finding each destination from this connector and making sure that I uh, that I got it all. <laughs> it was one way to learn the wiring diagrams really well. So, yeah, 100 wires. Holy smokes. That was rough. Pay for your education one way or another, I guess. Here is the kind of pared down, trimmed down, reformed chassis harness. So those two are for the A-pillar, left and right. We've got the seat equipment there, heat seat, seat heaters and all that stuff. That's a major connector for the battery management. We've got the tail light and the capacitor box and right tail lights. So much improved over the original bulk. Got the metal mostly cleaned up. Threw a little bit of paint on it. Um, planning on eventually covering everything you know sharp edges with uh basically trim kind of door edge trim type stuff so that we're all good there but i'm still not sure what i want to do i think i'm probably going to encase you know weld some sheet on there once everything's done or use this bulkhead as the new bulkhead and hide all the wiring in here and have it poke in through there here is the engine connectors, motor connectors, and AC stuff. And you can see it kind of dead ends right there at the front of the car. And if we come back here, we can see the actual motor harness from the motor. Dead ends, you know, a third of the way through the battery pack. So I need to extend those. So 
I'm planning on taking this harness, the motor harness, clipping it back here just a ways, splicing in wire wires for each connector here, and getting it together. Here's some wire that I've salvaged from all the Subaru swaps that I do. Here's the uh, motor plug wiring that I've extended and it terminates right here. Both of these chunks. So once I get everything up and running then I'm going to clean everything up. Time to get everything connected in the junction box. Main motor cable. And now we're gonna do the Chatamo. Here's the J17720, all kind of disassembled. It's a big resistor, 2.7 kilo ohm, half watt which I believe is for the pilot connection. And those terminate right here. I want to pull, put this plug right over here. I have some ridiculously temporary grounds set up and I'm getting ready to put the negative on this and I'm shaking. I hear something. Sounds like turn signals. It was the hazards. Now if I, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just try, trying to see if it's gonna charge. I put the safety disconnect switch in and gonna plug in the charging cable. Got the EVSC to the J1772. It's kind of, it's just kind of sitting in there. Yeah. Oh, it's uh, upside down. New vendor. Your stuff clicking and nothing. No, nothing. Hmm. And nothing on this modified EVSC. No light. No fault. This is modified to work with 110. Or uh, sorry. 1450 so 240 volts but I'm wondering if that modification there's something odd that won't work with this is for a 2011 2012 and what's in the fastback is 2014 gear so it may not may not be working but I'll investigate here's the first go at just powering the system up Key's not detected, so play around with this guy. There should be a, you know, a way for this guy to, I think this is the amplifier in case your battery runs out, so I don't know, it doesn't seem to have any effect. Try switching out the battery and see what happens. I just lifted up and remembered that I have the heater box high voltage cable disconnected, so I bet that's what's going on. I've depinned the heater box connection just so that I can have like a cap for it until I can uh, get this installed. One day that'll be installed, but for now, I just want a safe cap. I'll silicone these guys, and this is the um, interlock uh, bypass so when the connectors in and I want it to be watertight like it is normal so I'll be siliconing these guys and I just want a safe way to bypass this
There we go. So now that's safely capped silicone and orange tape. I'm gonna orange tape that guy as well. And I've also capped the heat pump portion. So I, this is totally reversible when that time comes to install all of that. Yes, that was it. The heater box. Again, still very temporary. Yes, booted up and we're in ready mode. That's pretty crazy, huh? Look at how dark it is and everything. <laughs> I'm gonna put it into neutral. And you can hear the parking brake pull. And so we're in neutral. I'm not ready to put it into drive or uh, reverse yet. I got stuff hanging out all over the place. I'm up in the air on the lift. Don't do this. <laughs> I just needed to confirm. Here we go. Relay contactors and relays. Looking good. That's all it was. Obviously, there's a whole lot more work with wiring ahead, but this was a huge milestone getting the car to charge and go into ready mode. In the next video, I'll put it into drive and see what happens. Don't miss it.